Hey YouTube! So you're interested in hearing a review on these handcrafted Made in America pens by Angular Velocity Designs. These are works of art. <laughs> he has um, some that are made of wood. The particular ones I'm reviewing today are made of uh, acrylic. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Now he does have some that are fountain pens, but I'm reviewing regular pens today. Um, he custom makes things, so if you want a particular color and a certain point or tip or whatever, he can, he can do that for you. Angular Velocity Designs makes pens and seam rippers and a few other things. Um, and they are based right here, just south of Jacksonville, Florida. It's a family owned and operated home business um, where Stephen and his father work at this together, which is really cool. Um, they they handcraft every pen individually and it can take an hour or, or more um, depending on the materials and the detailing but each one is unique and what I love about this art <laughs> is that it's functional so you know is this is something that you can use and enjoy every day and the prices range from $20 to $450. So, so the pens that I got to review are all refillable, naturally. Um, they'll take Parker, Cross, or Schmidt refills. And they, um, you know, that's kind of nice because then you can... Um, you know, when you go to refill it, you can choose what point you want or whatever, but they do all come uh, fully, fully loaded and ready to use. Um, the exception may be with the fountain pens. I'm not sure that those come with ink uh, cartridge in them. Probably not, but I can't tell you for sure because I don't have one of them, but they are just exquisite. I love the uniqueness, the detailing, the um, each one is just individual and beautiful work of art um, and they write really nice. Again that depends on what type of refill you put in it but um, it, it's all about personal preference too because like this pen for instance is a little big in my hand. You know, I have just smallish woman size hands. But I think for a guy, this pen with the gunmetal is really cool and the size wouldn't be an issue at all. Um, they do have some weight to them. It's not going to be like a disposable G2. Those are great, but um, these are definitely more substantial and they they feel good in your hand. So a sample of them writing, I'm not actually going to write anything because I can't spell when I'm under pressure, <laughs> but this one writes very nice. Again, it's kind of big in my hand, so it's not my preference, but for a guy or somebody with um, bigger hands, this would be no problem. It's not oversized, it's just more substantial than I'm used to. So it writes very, very nice. Super smooth. Now I am not left-handed, but um, I was requested that I show a picture 
of it writing left-handed because <laughs> it looks awful. Um, some pens work differently when they're pushed. As you can see, this one works beautifully. <laughs> it, do it doesn't, um, you know, you have to be left-handed in order to really show it beautiful, but it works just fine. Um, again, this is one of the twist to open. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I love all the details. A little bit of sparkle in there. All of his pens are um, unique, one of a kind works of art. Um, this one is probably not my favorite just because of how this feels on my hand. But this is a roller ball and it writes probably the nicest out of the three. Nice fine point, um, nice dark ink. Again, I'm going to try that left hand for you guys. <laughs> oh boy, I should have practiced that a little bit. <laughs> but as you can see, it doesn't have any problem being pushed um, opposed to being pulled. This pen, the Purple Swirl, is my favorite out of the three. I love the colors. I love the design. It feels good in my hand. It's just the right size. It's not too, too heavy, but it still feels like quality. However, the the tip, the writing ink, um, as you can see, it's it, it's probably my least favorite out of the three. I like the roller ball the best as far as the ink, but there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but it um, I think um, that's a good sample as you know, as best as I can do right now, as far as showing them in action. So my review is that they are well worth the investment. Um, again, he's got, you know, starting at like $20 up to $450. So whatever price range you're looking for, he probably has something to suit your needs. But this is just an excellent addition to any pen lover's collection. So absolutely, I would recommend them. Give them five out of five stars. Um, quality workmanship, quality materials. <sighs> absolutely beautiful and functional works of art. Um, highly recommended. Hopefully you will try out Angular Velocity Designs as well. He is on Etsy, he's on Facebook, and he sells locally here in Florida at the different markets and things too. So give Steven a, a note and say you're interested, look him up. I'll have the links down below so you can check out his storefront and Etsy. And I can't say enough good things about these pets. Thanks for watching.